All right, so check it out. Uh, we have a little breakfast in the office. I've been holding on to this one uh, for about a week or two. Uh, I think uh, about a week or so ago, I was mentioning how I could not find Mike's Hot Honey uh, in the grocery stores or in Walmart or anything. And a lot of people, thank you, in the comments, reminded me that there's this thing called Amazon. So I ordered the Mike's Hot Honey the OG right here, but they also had this two pack. I think I got both of these for like $15. Uh, also got the Mike's Hot Honey Extra Hot. So I wanted to put it to the test with a little versus video and it's breakfast, Sunday morning breakfast. I'm gonna put uh, Mike's Hot Honey versus Mike's Extra Hot Honey. I got the bagels off camera. We're gonna check it out. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Sunday morning, 9 a.m., filming a little video, uh, breakfast with the endorsement, if you will. Uh, Mike's Hot Honey infused with chiles. See it right there. If you're not familiar with Mike's Hot Honey, get familiar with Mike's Hot honey. That's all I'm going to say. If you like honey, you like a little bit of spice in your life, this right here is great on pizza, great on chicken. I don't know about um, <laughs> bagels right now. I'm going to try it for the first time on a bagel. I put a little bit of, of butter first on the bagel because I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I like butter and honey on my bagels and toast. Are you that way? Are you that way? So first one up, Mike's Hot Honey, the regular, uh, right here. It's this one. You can see the two of them on the plate right there. So uh, this is the one on the uh, my right, or my left, your left. Um, here we go. Wish me luck. Mike's Hot Honey, little bit of butter, breakfast with the endorsement, bagel style. I haven't made a bagel, like actually put a bagel in a toaster and made a bagel in quite some time. Quite some time. Here we go. Wish me luck. All coming back to me. It's all coming back. Mm. A little spice, a little sweet. All right, so listen, um, I don't know how long ago it was uh, that I first found Mike's Hot Honey. Uh, I think I saw it a bunch of places. I saw it online. I saw it on social media. Uh, I would see it in the stores and I was always like, is this something I'm going to enjoy? This is something I really do enjoy. This is top five uh, condiments for me. It's usually always in the cupboard. And like I said, for some reason, it's not uh, around me in the grocery stores and Walmarts and things like that. Uh, but I did order it from Amazon, like I said. So I think this bottle uh, was $7.50 as well as that one. I got the two for 15, uh, but it has a great uh, little bit of heat, probably like a two and a half out of 10 on any type of heat meter, mixing in with that sweetness of the honey. This right here, top notch. Top notch, it worked well with the butter. I've had this many times growing up. This was usually my go-to. I'd watch uh, cartoons on Saturday morning. I'd have a bagel or an English muffin with butter and honey. This never existed back then, but I wish it had. All right, so now I'm going to try this one right here. This is the extra hot. Now, if that one is a perfect level of heat for me, is this one going to be a little too much, a little too much, a little too much? Or am I going to uh, like it just as much or maybe better? Let's give it a shot. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. I made a wardrobe change. We have the uh, Salt Lake City Bees in honor of honey. We got the bee hat for the honey and uh, this is the one we're dealing with. I don't want it to drip all over Check it out, a little up close and personal. 
That's the extra hot on a bagel. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you enjoying your day? I don't know if you're gonna see this on uh, Sunday. I'm filming it on Sunday morning. If I have some time, I'll edit it and get it out to you today. But um, you might be seeing this Monday, May 1st. Uh, let's go. Wish me luck. Oh, that's hot. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Um, okay. All right, so um, what did I give that? Did I give that a one and a half or a two out of 10 on the uh, heat meter? This right here is probably a solid four. So that may not sound like much uh, to many of you out there who like the spice, who do not mind when it gets into the four, five, and six out of 10. I think this is very close to being on the edge where it might be too hot for me and what I'm looking for in a hot honey, uh, something with the sweet and the heat or the heat and the sweet. I think this is right there. Am I gonna eat more of this? Sure. And I think it has a little casualty if you see on the uh, top right there kind of uh, cracked. I don't remember uh, dropping it. I wonder if it was uh, damaged in shipping, but uh, I don't know if that's going to affect it because when you open this up, it leads right to the spout. Whew. Um, all right, so listen, if I had to uh, go with a little versus, a little uh, battle right here, I'm gonna still go with the OG as my number one uh, condiment out of the two. I think it's a perfect amount of the heat with the sweet where this one, it picks it up to that level where I'm right here. I'm like, do I really like that? Do I really enjoy that? Um, it's still really good. And if you like spice, you're going to like that one. But uh, I'm going to stick with this one. This one will be empty before that one's even half done. I'll tell you that will be a fact. But um, all right, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, that's it. A little honey versus. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's it. We'll see you soon with some more reviews.